Good evening, everybody. Um, this really is an honour to be inducted into the Appliance Hall of Fame. Uh, when the call came from Simon, it did, uh, I'd have to say, uh, bring back all those wonderful, wonderful memories of many, many years. First of all, I would apologise for not being with you this evening, but uh, a long-standing engagement over the ditch uh, has to have me there. I'm sorry, going to have to look at my face for most of the night. For that, I do apologise. But uh, it is an honour, and um, I do join some, uh, some of the illustrious figures in our industry. It's been my life, and one that I wouldn't change for anything. I was very fortunate in starting way back in the 60s and seeing the industry grow and divide and then grow again over the years. For myself, I saw all aspects of our industry. I've been in the factory, I've been on the supply side, I've been uh, in, the, in the design side, I've seen it all. But I guess what stays with me the longest and uh, is the part that was near and dear to my heart was the relationship with our dealers, both here in New Zealand and offshore. Particularly here in New Zealand, because in many cases, uh, I knew the fathers of the sons that now run the businesses, or ran them in my day. And some of my earliest memories of returning home from boarding school to Upton Road where Morris and Wolfe and Rolly Gillett would have dealers from all over the country there at home for a drink and uh, sometimes a meal. So from those early, early days, pre-teens, I guess I was getting blooded for what was to come. As the years rolled by, and uh, I was fortunate to see the various aspects that make our industry tick, um, it did stand me in good stead uh, and when I took over as CEO in 87. And what a time that was. I guess you'll uh, all recall, those of you will, who are a little bit older will recall that it was the time of the first share market crash. Fisher and Paykel had a, uh, meant to be a 19% shareholder in Equity Corp, who were placed into sta statutory management. And I had to ask somebody what the hell that meant and to this day I still don't know. But what it meant was one big problem. So from those earliest times, I guess uh, my first job was to make sure that uh, we got ourselves out of the clutches of Equity Corp, got the shareholding stabilised. It was at that time too that Johnny Bongard and I decided that we had to do our own thing in Australia. That was a full-time job as well. But one thing I would learnt during my time, and my former bosses, and uh, Don Rollins in particular, taught me that without that team around you, you're just not going to go anywhere. And in 87 and onwards, we soon developed the team that would run the company. In those days, of course, it was more than an appliance company. We had a growing healthcare business. We had a growing finance business very capably run by Alistair, Alistair McFarland, or Eddie to the trade. We had a, um, a we were a TASP, a telecom um, provider. Uh, what else did we have? Printed circuits, you name it, we had it. And frankly, the share market crash taught me that it was time to get in there and uh, specialise. Then uh, John and I, took off to Australia, as I said, and uh, we grew that market and turned our attention to the States later on. Back here in New Zealand, the one thing that I did uh, push very hard at Fisher & Paykel was the innovation side. I don't know whether you get away with it today in um, the way a company has to be run and uh, to look after the shareholders in terms and form of governance. But in those days, with Julian Williams leading out the technical side of the company, there was just a myriad of projects that were on the go. Some came to fruition, i.e. the dish drawer, which is still the world's first today. That's typical of the sort of innovation we were working on. I think that was something like, I don't know, 10, 12 years in the making. Um, 
money going one way and not coming in. But our board was supportive and uh, we knew these were the products that our retailers needed. So I have to say again, I'm very, very honoured to be part of the wonderful people that have been inducted into the Appliance Hall of Fame. I just hope that uh, out in the future, uh, other inductees uh, see themselves being honoured similarly. And I just want to wish everybody here to have a, an excellent night. Enjoy yourselves. It does bring back memories attending similar functions, getting home in the wee small hours, having to drag ourselves out of bed, as you all know, and be on deck uh, at 8 o'clock the next morning. So thank you again, everybody, and have a great night.